Hi, this is Rob, Longevity Learning Lab. Okay, we've gone through the arc welding for the innovator and uh, the DC welding for the innovator with the TIG. Now we're gonna do the AC. And uh, straightforward, you know, with, you've got it on your manual here. And then the way the readout is on the panel, easy enough. You know, you, you, I've already showed you about the foot pedal and the stinger control. And uh, the setup is the same way as, as the DC. And so you don't really have to do nothing except for setting for the current. And the, uh, the AC is what you want, opposed to DC. And, uh, but what I'm gonna do is change up on uh, doing it, okay? Instead of using the standard call it body and call it and cup, I'm gonna use a gas saver. And this gas saver actually is better for, for, for viewing when I'm welding the clear cup. It's a Pyrex cup, but you can see better because with your tungsten on, on AC and aluminum, you gotta keep it as close as you can so you get that gas cover. You know, you don't wanna have, you don't wanna have a sideways arc going long and you wanna keep it nice and close and you can see what you're doing. And with the AC current, it gives you a better, an arc when it cleans it. It just, it works better. And I'll show you how to set the high frequency up on that. And, uh, but when you, you get the unit, when you get the innovator, it comes with, you know, another bag with some extra little parts and stuff like that. But with the gas saver and stuff, that's, you know, on you. You gotta go ahead and deal with that. So the, let me go ahead and I'll grab up some scrap and I'll show you what we're doing with, on this. Okay, here we go. Now here's the front of it. Now we're setting it up for the DC, okay? So all your fittings are all, connections are all the same as DC. You don't have to change anything like that. But you come up here and we'll change it. And because we've got the different programs, we're gonna set it for the program for the aluminum. And that way, whenever you wanna come and do it, you, all you have to do is just hit your program button. And uh, let me go ahead and move the camera and then we'll, we'll zero in on the front of the panel. Okay, here's our control panel. Now, as you can see, it's still set up for the DC from our other part. So, we wanna go ahead and change everything into AC. Now also, it was set up for the second program. Now what I like about that is that you can set it to the program for the th number three now. Okay, so it's gonna be a completely new program. So all those other parameters for your program one and two are right there and you can go ahead and bring them up when you need. Okay, so now we're on program three. We set it on the AC, we got it on the wave, but the wave is off, okay? The AC has always got a wave because that's what helps clean the material. So we're gonna go ahead, we're still on our stinger with the control button, not the foot pedal. Same thing here in the high frequency. So we'll leave that alone. So now what we wanna do with our two cursor buttons here, we're gonna see where we're at. Okay, that's our amperage. That's our, our base amperage. That's, what, that's as high as we can go. So we wanna turn that up a little bit for aluminum. But let's go, let's go even 200. Okay, and then you hold that button in, that'll set it. And there you go, see that your three, your three beeped on you there. Okay, now with AC, you've got your cleaning and you got your high frequency. So what we do again, we get our base current and we'll set for a post flow, that's five seconds. Okay, then we'll come back over here to the beginning. That's our pre-flow. That's the one second right before. Then we'll go ahead and we'll just go there, base current again. Then you wait and then you're gonna set for your cleaning. Now the cleaning will go from one to 10, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, 50. And I, I, don't, I keep it kind of low. I, don't, I, go, I average out about 25. You'll see it in the manual. And the same thing with the high frequency. The high frequency, I go about 75. And then you're all good to go. It'll zero out. That's gonna give you your, your amperage. So now, everything's all set. That's your current. And we're ready to start welding. And it's gonna be just the standard pulse is off. We're not gonna pulse it yet. I'll come back and I'll do that and show you just how it pulses because you can, you can go ahead and adjust your pulse for, for how many 
pulses per second. And it's in the manual, so we'll go from there. Okay, here I got a little T-joint here, the fillet weld. And uh, I've got just a regular 53, 56 rod. And uh, it'll work good enough here for us. This is what you're gonna have out there in the field anyway. And uh, I'll run the bead. And uh, I'll, let me put the, the dark lens on the camera. And we'll go ahead and it's easier to see. Let me do this. Okay, here we go. Now I can put it a little hotter. It works for us for right now. See how that cleans it. And then your pulse flow. And then you're out. It didn't turn out too bad. I jabbed it once. That's okay. Then you hit it with the wire brush and it'll clean up. Hot stuff. And there you go, that's without the pulse. Now I'll go ahead and I'll flip it right quick and put a pulse on it. And you'll see how that sounds even different too. And what I'll do, I'll go ahead and I'll do it without the lens. Now the pulse is on. And it's pretty much, it's, it's the basic parameters set at the factory right now. So you can adjust it as you feel. And you'll see how it sounds. See, and that's when it, you come back and you have to adjust on your, uh, your high frequency and the pulse setting for the second, so I'd turn it a little bit slower. And there you go. Okay, let's try it with the pulse now. Too bad, I need to clean it up a little bit. But uh, it's fairly clean. Look through there, it's no big deal. That's just me and my stop and starts. Kind of crappy, but I can live with it. Well, here's your AC. And uh, yeah, you know, having the pulse is good to have, you know, and especially out in the, in the trade. But at home, if you don't really need it, it's, a, it's better to have it and not use it then need it and not have it um, I like it I got to learn a little bit more myself but uh, I'm kind of old school even with the, the stinger control I, I'm, a old, I'm a foot pedal guy you know that's all I can say and uh, next one we're gonna be doing the plasma and uh, this the innovator man I like it it's that four-in-one thing it's one size fits all kind of thing 
And uh, I'm Rob, and I'll see you for part four next time. Longevity Learning Lab. Bye.